her age, a package drove me crazy. I'd have the paper torn off before they even could lay it down in front of me. That's her last one. She, uh, she wants to make it last. Is this your first Christmas without Mary? No. She died mid-December. I guess in a way it is. No one felt like celebrating last year, so this is the first real family Christmas without her. I know how it feels. Kind of gets better as the years pass. Thank you. It's been a good day, and thank I'm you glad for you're including Rose and me in your plan. Aww. Nothing like a big family for Christmas. <laughs> we were so happy that you could join us. Please sit with the fish. Delicious dinner, Mrs. Ryan. Oh, stuck here. I haven't eaten that much in years. The only trouble with Christmas dinners is that they make you sleepy. I'm three years old again, and I'm curled up behind that couch. <laughs> John always the right idea. He's curled up on your bed with his radio, his calculator, and half a gingerbread. Benny, <laughs> oh, beat you to it. Uh, listen, do you want me to go put him down in his own room? No, no, dear. Let's sleep in Babe's life. Does he still have that sweater on that you? And I. Yeah, put the Afghan over. Oh, good. Then he'll be fine. Oh, look now. She's doing it, folks. She's doing right. it. Let's, let's give her a hug. Oh, what does he got? Yes. Oh. Fantastic! Oh, boy! <laughs> Ooh. Look at that! Isn't it? What do you think? Is it mine? Yes. <laughs> and it used to be mine. What a splendid friend. Thank you, Rose. Oh. It's from Matthew, too. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, you're most welcome, Miss Finnelly. Did you make it yourself, Matt? Yep. Took me from September to early Christmas morning, 20 years ago. Oh, it's amazing. I'll never complain about a unassembled Christmas toys again. <laughs> oh, come on. You can make a dollhouse. You can do anything. Took me three years of Christmases, birthdays, and special events to furnish it. That's what happened. I burned myself out on my dollhouse. <clears throat> I love it. Oh. <laughs> that makes me very happy, Ryan. Uh. Listen, everybody, Budget. I think it's time to go downstairs. Bob must surely have that punch finished oh, by now. Oh, is that what he's doing? Yeah, do? terrific. <laughs> I have to go pick up Faith. Uh, so. Let's leave the dollhouse now. Let's get okay, to it, go on, everybody. Downstairs. Come on. Downstairs, you too, Finn. Oh, Come on. You can have some punch, too, old buddy. Come on. Come on. I think this is one of the best Christmases I've ever had. I understand now why the Ryans are so important to you. Everything was great, but... Uh, you know the part that I like the most? What? The big hug that Ryan gave you. Kind of like that myself. You really seem a lot more comfortable with her. Well, listen, it couldn't get worse. At least I haven't lost her lately. She's been talking about going to ride the ponies again. So we'll go. Another thing I would appreciate is if you'd give me a little more information about Crawling Rock. The secret agent game. Ryan is crawling the wall because I don't know how to play it with it. I'm afraid I can't help you on that one. Why not? Because then it wouldn't be a secret. Oh. Well, will you explain that to Ryan? Sure. <sighs> wow. Wow, what? Wow. I wish I had a secret that I could tell you. Why? Well, because I'd feel so safe about it. You're without a doubt the most closed-mouthed woman that I've ever met. Probably. Which is not necessarily bad. No. Only uh, a little isolating. I mean, don't you ever feel just a little bit lonely uh, carrying around all that stuff inside and not sharing it with anyone? Is this leading up to what I think it's leading up to? Maybe. To that which I chose not to share with you in Cape May? I must admit that that which is very much on my mind. Let it go, Jack. Unless you want to ruin Christmas.
Raj. I feel as if this is a very special Christmas. It is? Jill's here, and she's safe. And there seems to be some degree of communication among all three of us. Yeah. But uh, Jill's acquittal isn't the only thing that's making you happy. I know you don't approve about Frank and me, but I have never been more hopeful, more positive in a long time. But I try very hard not to be judgmental. Judge ye not that ye be, etc., etc., etc. But you're still concerned about it. Truthfully, I think the thing that concerns me most has you worried, uh, too. Jill has to know. And she will know. But I want to tell her in the least painful way. Honey, any way she finds out is going to be painful. True. But I want to be the one to tell her. I don't want her to find out from Delia, for example. And I want to find the right time, the opportunity, and words. I wonder if... Faith, I... are you telling me you're thinking about doing it today? Honey, Jill is just beginning to mourn Ken. Till that note was found, she was fighting for her life. She, she pushed his loss into the background, and I think she's just beginning to realize that he is gone and it is final. Now, I don't think this is the appropriate time to announce her involvement with Frank. But I don't think it's right to deceive her either. I hate it. And I think she should know as soon as possible, don't you? Yes, but not today. Barry and I have loaded the dishwasher, <coughs> so if there are any more plates to go in, they gotta go in now. Well, look, why don't you sit and I'll, uh, I'll take the dirty dishes out to Barry. Thank oh, you. thank mm -hmm. you. You are such a good person, Roger, and filled with the true Christmas spirit. Oh, but, right. um, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm glad that we're alone. So am I. I don't know if this is the right place or time to discuss this, but for many reasons, I think we should. So you just listen to me just for a minute. Sure. It's about Frank and me. Oh, that's precisely what I wanted to talk to you about. It's over now, at least the worst of it. And I can't tell you how much I'm in your debt. Both you and Frank have done more for me than I had a right to expect. I hurt both of you, and yet you came back with a lot of love and support. And if it wasn't for you, I know that Frank and I would never have come close enough for him to offer his help, or for me to even accept it. I'm grateful. I want to put all the bad things that happened between us, behind us, no matter what they are. I want to begin now. Oh, Jill. Uh, everything's cleared away. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks, Barry. Oh, thank you for including me. Where you sit? I'll get it. Thanks, Raj. Orion's invited me to spend the day with them, but I knew it'd be awkward for both Delia and me. I didn't want to spend Christmas alone, so I really appreciate the hospitality. Oh, no, Barry, you're part of our family. You're part of us now. Well, oh, thank you. That's nice. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry right. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Barry, you look terrific. Yeah, well, it's better with a cast off and the crutch is gone, and I sort of like the cane. Who knows? Maybe I'll affect a walking stick. <laughs> you're just too classy for us poor New York Ryan. Yeah. Speaking of whom, you're all invited to our place for Christmas cards. Yeah, hey, that's great. Barry, if you don't want to go, I'll stay with you. No, it's OK. I'd like to go for a little while. Yeah, come on. Let's all go. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I couldn't. That was just as well. No, I don't think so. She has to know, and as soon as possible. Oh. I'm not determined to ruin Christmas. I'm only trying. Very trying. In my own clumsy way. Uh huh. To lay the foundation for future Christmases called truth. In my neighborhood, it's called nosy. All right, look, this is as much from my instincts as from my head. But what you won't tell me is a major factor in, in your relationship with Ryan and with me, and that makes it important. It makes it crucial. Look, Jet, I'm warning you. Lay off it. I can't. OK, I'm leaving. You... Another one? Okay, you got it. Right. Behind, I believe. Okay. That's for you. Merry Christmas. 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 Merry Christmas.
Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Good to see you here. Great to be here. I spent too little time with family. I want to wish all the Ryans, one and all, every happiness in the coming year. And to you the same. Thank you. Now, let me get one. Ah, terrific. Did you write that down? I'll look at you. Oh, sir. Whatever I've done, whatever. Ever questions I may have asked that I had no business asking, I don't deserve to be walked out on. Funny thing about Christmas. People usually get what they don't deserve. Rose, you leave now, I won't come after you. Trust me. I'm not your enemy. I love you. I think I know that. Now, can we please just enjoy Christmas? I'm sorry I pushed you. Well, that's better than fighting. So, uh, how come we fight more than we kiss? That's me. We're missing the cows. Right. Tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. I'm still haunted by the memory. I just, I feel like I'm losing everything. I've done some things that I really am not proud of. I have let go of so much already, so much. I don't know what I'm going to have. Everyone has a dark side. The Young and the Restless, weeknights at 7 on SoapNet. Buckle up. You're about to take the ride of your life. You really believe in fairy tales and happy endings, don't you? I'm Mikey Jerome. I won Soap Star, and I'm coming to land you. I'm watching The Young and the Restless. No interruptions. You got it. Yeah, I got it. SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps. And I can get all kinds of themes, ringtones, and lots of cool games, like Pirates of the Caribbean. Whoa. You always have the coolest mom ever. Yeah, pretty much. And I can check his phone usage, locate his handset, and even control when he can use his phone, all for my computer or Disney mobile handset. Wow. You must be the coolest mom ever. Yeah, pretty much. From Disney Mobile, get 200 anytime minutes for $24.99 a month, plus a free phone. Learn more at DisneyMobile.com. Are you one of the millions of Americans having trouble sleeping, waking up tired, struggling through the day? A trusted team of medical doctors has a drug-free way to end sleepless nights. New Sleep MD. Start falling asleep in just minutes and sleep better and longer with exclusive nano-diffuse and time-release technologies. With Sleep MD, you wake up incredibly rested and refreshed. We're the MDs in New Sleep MD, the sleep solution millions have been waiting for. Get yours today at sleepmdhealth.com, Supercenters, Walgreens, GNC, and fine retailers everywhere. Here's the weather forecast. Brutal cold fronts, severe winter conditions, and bone-chilling temperatures. And now, here's the good news. When temperatures drop, you can stay cozy and comfortable with the Sunbeam Heated Mattress Pad. The Sunbeam Heated Mattress Pad works just like a regular mattress pad. Put it over your mattress, then put on your sheets. The preheat function quickly works to give your bed inviting warmth when you get in. And the amazing SmartSense controller gives you 10 personalized settings and dual heating zones. So while a warm setting of two is perfect for him, she likes her side a little warmer. Right now, now you can get a Sunbeam heated mattress pad for as low as $59.99. Order today and Sunbeam will send you a rebate off the cost of your purchase. Save money by turning down the thermostat and turning up the Sunbeam heated mattress pad. No more freezing sheets when you get into bed. No more fights over being too hot or too cold. Just the luxurious, cozy warmth and comfort of the Sunbeam heated mattress pad. To order your Sunbeam heated mattress pad, call 1-800-247-3877 or log on to buysunbeam.com. Call now. Now playing on Project My World. We're going to Venice. Where Renee reunites with Luigi. I was really excited to see him. Felt like a kid just got to Disneyland. Is he playing for keeps or just playing Renee? Unfortunately, Andrea decided to give her the dirty truth about Latin lovers. Playboy, more than one woman. They want to have more than one yeah. woman? I'm not listening. Then it's on to Croatia, where all the traveling finally takes its toll. Ah! Project My World, now playing on DirecTV Channel 101.
All right, everybody. I suggest we rest our weary voices and maybe get a refill on the punch. Huh? Okay, thanks. Oh, yes. Anybody else want something? Right, right. So we can stay real loud. No. Bob, how are you doing? Okay. About the same, Frank. I figured, and I'd, I'd like to do something about that. I know you're upset about Faith in Me. I know you're being so vocal about it only because you care about it. I know this. I love her very much. I'm going to take good care of her. And it has nothing to do with Jill. And what I don't understand is how I can be your best friend for over 20 years until I begin to appreciate Faith and I fall in love with her. Why does that turn me into a heavy? Why would I or anyone want to hurt her? I never said you wanted to. Well, that's a little bit. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, please. I love you. I'll drop you some corn. What's going on? You both look so serious. We've been discussing a very special mutual friend, you. You know, one thing that I really can't handle is the fact of me loving one of you causes so much pain to the other. Especially since we've been friends for so many years. Oh, I'm so glad you came. I really Yeah, yeah, I know I've said this before, but I want you to understand that I mean it. I'm very sorry for all the things I did to hurt you. I wish everything could have turned out differently. I can't even blame circumstances or anything else. It was my fault. I did it wrong. Is that an apology for everything you've done or just what I know about? Bob, can I talk to you for a minute about a uh, column I'm writing? Well, working on Christmas? That was dedication, what <laughs> sacrifice. What a lot of garbage. <laughs> what it is is bad planning. I mean, if I'd written it when I was supposed to, I wouldn't have to worry about it now. Huh? <laughs> uh, can I ask your advice about something? What? Not here. <laughs> What is this, this all about? A clever subterfuge. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas to you. Uh, excuse me. Sure. Hmm? So, tell me, Siobhan won't be home for a while, huh? No, we expected her before today. Yes, yeah, sweetheart. But she called. Yeah. And she's delayed. She bumped into a friend of hers that she hasn't seen since school days. Uh, and the girl is pregnant. Ah. About to have a child. And her husband works two jobs, so Siobhan has decided to stay on to help with the baby. Oh, nice. Isn't that just like Siobhan? Too bad she had to miss Christmas, though. Oh, she probably have a lovely Christmas, dear, and she'll be home soon. Yeah, I suppose. Um, Jill, there's a whole bowl of punch in the fridge in the kitchen. Would you mind getting it? I just remember, I gotta ask Bobby. Sorry. <laughs> I'll get it. No, no, Mary. No, no. I'll get it, I promise. Excuse me. <laughs> Ryan's Hope is next. Then play dirty with the Abbots and the Newmans on The Young and the Restless. Followed by All My Children on Soapnet. Have you noticed, sir, the halo that's around my head? I'm the mother, and the mother knows what to do. I don't want to be answerable to anybody else on the face of this earth. Occasionally I get mad when I think people aren't loving with me, but never hysterical. It was stupid. Very, very stupid. Ryan's Hope, next on Soapnet. We wish you a Merry Christmas. SoapNet invites you to a very soapy Christmas special with some of your favorite soap stars. Joy to the world, the 
singing songs of the season. It's the behind the scenes of the making of a holiday affair. A special CD you can buy from SoapNet.com. Make this season special with a very soapy Christmas. Today at noon, only on SoapNet. John and Marlena remarry. But EJ and the Demiras cast a dark shadow on their big day. Don't miss days this Thursday at 11 on SoapNet. She's a big city girl through and through, but this Thursday you'll see why she fell in love with this small town. Hey, Elmo. It's good to be here. It could be the wildlife. Why is it raising its tail? Or some new friends. Yeah, you give us something to talk about. Or it could be the men. I was just admiring your... Isn't it time you fell in love with men in trees? <laughs> An all-new Men in Trees, Thursday, 10, 9 central after Grey's Anatomy, only on ABC. Stay tuned for an exciting money-making opportunity from SMC. Would you like to make more money, set your own hours, and spend more time with your family? Well, now you can with SMC. It's amazing, I mean, to go to the mailbox and you get $10,000, $50,000 checks. I was buried in debt, and I was sitting around one day and I saw an SMC commercial. I felt confident that this would work. My best year gross, I did about $350,000. I was making more money than I ever made in my life. SMC supports its members with a huge warehouse stocked with thousands of products that you can sell for profits of up to 300% and more. Call right now to request your free information packet. And remember to ask your operator how you can jumpstart your business with $100 worth of free SMC merchandise. Just pick up the phone and call this toll-free number now. Remember, you have absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain. Call 1-800-605-0576. Excuse me. I haven't had a chance to talk to you alone all day. It's not all over just because the charges have been dropped and I... I want you to feel free to come to me anytime for anything. I know it's probably bad to remind you of troubles on Christmas Day, but uh, if I didn't say it now, I probably couldn't say it at all. I'm glad that you did. When we were singing before, I suddenly realized for the first time how much I miss Ken. I'm glad you understand. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, no, no, that's all right. I'll, uh, I'll get it. No, no, it's in the phone no, shot. I'll get it. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Frank, could you get the extra bowl of punch from the fridge? I know why you did that. Yeah, well, I know what you're up to uh, also, and if you're smart, you'll knock it off. Knock what off? Leave Faith and Jill alone. Here we go. More oh, more time. Oh, very good. Hey, Frank, um, do you have a folder on Claudius? The one with the correspondence? Yeah, do you need it? Yeah, I, I need to settle things by the first of the year. I'll get it to you as soon as I can. Good. Oh, come on, you guys. This is Christmas. Let's get some more food. Fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> Seems like you're an awful quiet lady. <laughs> Is it Siobhan? Well, I suppose a little, but sh she'll be here soon and she'll be with us next Christmas, God willing. Mary's with us too. Yes. I guess I miss the most around Christmas time. Of course, Patrick's phone call was wonderful. Yeah. And Kathleen and Art and the children side better than ever. I suppose it really is more that we're at odds with Francis. I'm worried about Faith and Jill being here together. Jill has no idea what's going on between Faith and our son. Well, that's not going to last very long, my dear. And I'm afraid Jillian is not going to be the only one that's hurt. And these are no thoughts for a Christmas day, lady. No, not quite. Let's put them away, huh? Merry Christmas, lady. Ah, Merry Christmas, my dear. Let me kiss. Jill's bound to find out sooner or later anyway. Now she's not concerned about the defense, you know. She's not stupid. That's right, so she doesn't need your help. You can't tell me what to do anymore, right? I was never under the impression that I could. Look, Delia, it is Christmas Day. Can't you just let it rest?
Love triangles, juicy scandals, passionate affairs, and lots of eye candy. This is why we're addicted to the Gang of Beverly Hills. Don't miss back-to-back -back episodes of 90210. Today, starting at 5, only on SoapNet.